Well guys, good morning. We're looking a bit disheveled. Hello, Sam. Hey guys, I got a, I'm fetching a rock. <laughs> fetching a rock. So what is this vlog even about? I feel like I need to pause this video before we even begin because, well, the world is very different from when we filmed this at the end of 2019. Long story short, what you're going to see in this video is the start of a little project that Sam and I were hoping to take on in 2020. For those of you who may not know me well, I was born in Canada, but I spent a good chunk of my childhood in a pretty idyllic village in the Sierras of Cordoba. The spooky forest you see behind me was once my front yard. This past year, we were hoping to take on a fixer-upper involving this house and that one and this other building over here. But well, 2020 happened and before we even knew it, borders were closed and we had to hit pause before we even started. I was a bit hesitant about publishing these clips, but then I thought it might be odd to leave you with zero videos from Cordoba. So the reason we hardly picked up the camera is because we had stuff like this to keep us busy. That's why they call me Machete. Yes, that is a fallen tree on a roof. I hope we'll have more information to share with you guys in the future, but for now, here's this little vlog. We are here working on a property in the province of Cordoba, and this is one of the houses on the property. I actually lived in this house as a kid for a bit, for a few years, but then when we moved back to Canada, this place was locked up and it hasn't received a lot of attention, a lot of care in quite some time. So we are busy doing a bit of work we are patching up a few problem areas on the roof, cleaning the area. I've been pulling down some ivy from the building because you wouldn't believe the damage ivy can cause. It looks very pretty, but the vines and the roots just eat away at the concrete and they turn it into this like loose, fine powder. So that's been coming down. We're also cutting down a tree that fell on the roof. And yeah, this looks not so good on camera. Oh my. <laughs> Sam's also busy there in the back. So yeah, it's not just food and travel on this channel. Today we're getting to work. Climbing on up. Climbing on up. <coughs> How are we doing, Sam? Good. This basically we're putting a bit of a, a waterproof, temporary waterproof barrier on the roof. Yeah. It's a few leaks. And so uh, it's, a, it's a patchwork job, guys. This yeah. Is, this is not professional professional quality but you know what it just needs it, to it, hold for a little bit it does it's getting the job done and yeah uh, it's definitely going to be an upgrade over in the condition we found it also we're expecting rain this afternoon yeah. it's turning a bit gray so thunderstorms are coming we need to pick up the pace well we are now here on the roof there's my dad keeping busy with his machete we had to borrow tools from the neighbors because we basically have nothing over here and that's part of the tree that fell down on the roof. We've already cut half of it off. Now we need to deal with this other half and we're on borrowed time because there's rain on the forecast. And on top of that is dry wood. Dry wood. With a machete, it's very hard. Very hard. Very hard. And on top of that, this one doesn't cut hot butter. Hot <laughs> butter. That, that I can tell you. you know? They're not very sharp tools. No, they're not. <laughs> they're not ours. We borrowed them. You know? Yeah, we borrowed them from like a neighbor. Whoever is using them, look. Oh my. Uh, it, hit the, it hit the rocks. It has absolutely no sharpness here. Yeah. It's all uh, broken by uh, people hitting the rocks. And the axe we borrow is even in worse shape. Yeah. So. <laughs> We're doing what we can with what we have. So another little job we did yesterday is cleaning the grooves here on, on the roof. Um, because there was so much debris, just like broken branches and dried leaves and dirt and it wasn't allowing the water to run off and drain properly. So that's part of the reason why we've got some leaks and water damage inside the house. And again, we don't really have any tools. So we basically grabbed a stick and like ran that down the grooves to kind of clean them out and just, you know, threw everything down on the ground. So that gives you an idea of what we're up to here. My dad is still hacking through this tree, but he's more than halfway through now. So we are making progress. It is slow, but it is steady. 
Right? Slow but steady. Look. <laughs> huh? This is for the Guinness World Records to oh. cut a to cut a trunk like this with a machete. I mean, my goodness, that's all we have because the axe, it's blunt. It's like hitting with a stone instead of with a metal piece. So mm -hmm. this one has a little bit of sharpness. Sharpness. I almost have it. Almost. As for me, Sam managed to track down a broom. So I'm going to sweep the roof and make sure I remove all the debris that was left over in the grooves because you can't really do a great job using a stick. So that's my next task. Well, 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 what's new around here? I did it. He did it. Huh? Cut in half. There you go, Machete That's Dan. It. The smallest blister I have is like a, it's like a quarter. Size of a quarter. At least like this in my hands. No gloves, no nothing. But I did it. Now the weight is less. I don't want this thing to pierce through this uh, very old. They're 80 years old, so I don't want it, the tree to go down, and then we have a bigger problem. So it took a little bit of doing to show you that you, yeah, you can cut a tree with a machete, okay? <laughs> it can be done. but it's gonna take you forever. <sighs> with a chainsaw, this one I would have 15 minutes. The whole thing would have been gone. Now we still have the other piece that goes all the way up to the yeah. to the rock. But we'll see if tomorrow we get some other tool. I want to make some room here so we can clean the uh, the Good runners. Uh, and uh, yeah, okay, there you have it. That's why they call me Machete. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Moment of truth. <coughs> Moment of truth. Easy does it. I don't want him to bring me down with it, you know? No. Nobody wants that. It's a really heavy piece of wood. Okay, baby. Bye bye Get off our house! Oh, there it goes! Hurrah! Evicted. Okay. Now some water. Huh? This is the best water in the world. Well, well water. Nothing artificial here. Pure water. 40 meters down. You should do a commercial for well water. <laughs> ah, this is the life. Huh? Forget about city tap water. This is the real thing. We are bringing down that ivy. This is kind of the last section I have left in the back of the house. Oh, this job here has basically taken me all morning um, because I'm doing it by hand. I don't really have any tools, nothing fancy. So I'm just pulling each vine down one by one. I've already done the front of the house, one side. The back is kind of the last section. That side is okay. Um, but yeah, it feels good to see the stone exposed once again. We can actually see the structure. It smells kind of funky. Ooh. Ooh. What is that? Well, down it comes. Down it comes. Well, it is lunchtime. We're off the roof. Sam and I went to the little local market and right. got some. Tell us what's on the menu. We got empanadas. Three kinds. Yep. Salami and cheese. Three alfajores. And um, some bread. And some bread. We're gonna make some sandwiches here. Yeah, yeah before the ants start eating everything. Yeah. <laughs> and this is just a quick lunch break and then yeah. we'll keep working. We'll have a bigger dinner later on. Yeah. Mmm, well. yum yum. It is lunchtime for me too. <laughs> Yesterday's barbecue was tasty. Dun, 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 dun. Look at his little tail. <laughs> Update. We are going. Out. Is this a date or is this just tea and cake? I guess it is a date. Just a the two date? Of us, huh? Oh my gosh! Just the two of us. Yes, we worked really hard today. We did. And we just I had chopped a quick down lunch. four trees today. Chopped down four trees <laughs> with a blunt axe. So good on you. 
Yeah, there's a lot. Of, it took a lot of swings just to just to knock one tree down, man. Yeah. Let me tell you, I I, I don't think I've I can't remember the last time I guzzled that much water either. Oh yeah. Like I must have had three four liters out there. Well, I probably well. I probably I still feel dehydrated. So. So yeah, we're just going to basically I guess you would call it like a, a little restaurant, a coffee house that's on a hill. On a hill. It's really nearby. Yes. I forget the name. What's it called? It is called La Domanda. Yeah, we were there. We were there. We've already made a video there. Yeah, we had, we made a brief little clip there. Oh and, yeah. And then we're gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go there. See what's available. It's more like merienda time, which is yeah. tea time here in Argentina. Yeah. Usually in the afternoon, that's when people go for tea. So we may be having something sweet mm -hmm. as opposed to savory. But anyways, we're hungry and uh, yeah. Let's do this. Here we go. slash dinner is at the table first we need to talk about this monster sandwich that sandwich is amazing that Sam chose for himself lift the hood lift the hood I oh. thought it was gonna be like half the size oh, oh, oh look at the sandwich guys it's so thick I don't even think I can I don't know if I could take a bite just directly let me try give it your best shot mm. oh oh yeah juicy thick tender piece of meat mmm I love the barbecue sauce a little bit sweet too and this bread. Wow. Oh yeah, homemade bread is the best. It's the best. This is this is amazing. I I was thinking like it's the small little slim sandwich, and look what I got. Oh, surprise, my friend! So, surprise. I'm happy. <laughs> mm. Cheesecake, a classic. I already stole a little bite off the corner when you weren't looking. Audrey, Audrey, Audrey. Classic. Classic Audrey. Classic Audrey. Always stealing my desserts. Mm -hmm. mm. Super thick, creamy cheesecake. I love it. Do you want to try my lemon oh, yeah. pie while you're at it since you're on a roll? Why not? I may as well just well, bring it over. Bit of everything, huh? Why not? It has some sprinkles on top. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. I the, chose well. The best part is the meringue. Mm. Mm. Oh, the lemon is, is, is potent. It has a nice kick to it. <laughs> Good stuff overall. Nice. I like it. We're back. We are back. Wasn't that great? The meal? Yeah. Yes. The sandwich was like so delicious and then the cakes. It was so, so good. A monster sandwich. I, I thought we were just going- size of it. I thought we were just going for a little bite, but we ended up having, it was a proper meal. So. I thought so too, but then Sam was like, let's go two cakes. So that's how it goes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That was probably, probably not the best decision, mm -hmm. but anyways, really good and a good productive day today. My it goodness, sure was. we were swinging axes, swinging machetes, climbing to the rooftops. Hey, we were actually up at six in the morning yeah. working on videos and YouTube stuff. Yeah. And we're going to do more of that tonight. So the yeah. day's not over yet. The day's not over for us. We're gonna, This is like the second shift. We're going to be editing mm. video. But um, yeah, I think we'll probably show a bit more of what we're doing here on the property Back in a future video. But for now, we're tired and we're going to sign off. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next episode. Good night. Good night. So that's all we filmed over time in Cordova because we just got busy with work and kind of forgot about the camera. But if you're interested in seeing more of this project, let us know in the comments below because 2021 just might be the year. Fingers crossed.